Okay, so this is part two of the TBS Capurina 2 uh, wing dry fit uh, that I'm doing before the build. So previous video showed the battery box um, and if you watched it you note, you'll you note that I did say that I had a 5S LiPo in there, that's wrong. It is indeed, in fact, a 4S 5000 milliamp LiPo. And you can see in there the, the Turnergy um, 5 amp 4S LiPos are slightly shorter than the Nanotech ones and are a slightly better fit. So you can see how the box there fits in with the wing. I have missed off one of the lugs on the side of the box, but that's fine. Um, I've Again, this is all dry fit, the uh, rear motor mount. The rear spar, don't forget to put that in. If you measure the spar, uh, which is 40 centimeters, and then glue on the little wooden piece there at 20 centimeters, so smack bang in the middle of the spar, uh, that will ensure that the spar is equal across the wing. Okay, so looking underneath the wing, uh, you can see, I think there is a plus, uh, an EPP piece to cover the back there. So you can see how the rear mount slots into the EPP foam. Uh, so if I just turn this around. <clears throat> so you'll see on the right hand side of the underside of the wing, there is a hole for, um, or a mounting position for either your VRX or your receiver. On the left hand side of the wing, again, you have a mounting position for either your VRX VTX or your receiver. Um, I'll be putting my 1.3 video transmitter in there. <clears throat> Turn it over. And you can see in both bays there are 36 by 36 mounting holes um, for your standard flight controller boards. <clears throat> there are, I can do this. There are very nicely cut out channels on each of the bays for all of your equipment. You can see there you've got two channels, three channels. And that is to enable you to get a nice clean wiring configuration. I'll take this out so you can see. So you can see that wiring channel there goes through to the battery box. Uh, that probably doesn't work out very well. And then that one goes through to the other bay. A little bit difficult to do on the mobile phone. But you get the idea there. Um, it's not going to take long to build this. So. It's very nicely put together. There, it does come with a um, like a vinyl sheet to go over the bottom here to protect it on landing. Very nice. Right, ask questions, leave comments. That's it. Dry fit part two finished for now. Bye for now.